We're going to be finally talking about BARD and how to use BARD for niche keyword research. I found out that BARD is actually potentially better than ChatGPT, and I think the reason for that is that it's connected to Google, and it kind of understands the world a little bit better and doesn't do things logically, but does things keyword based, which is very, very interesting to me. So instead of doing it live, I'm just gonna show you some examples, but I've got all of the prompts in the description. If you look in the description, you'll see the actual description is all of this text here. There are three different prompts. There's this one, this one, well, there's four, this one, and then this one. So we'll go through them in order. So basically what I did was I said, Bard, I need keyword suggestions. I'll give you a niche. I want you to imagine you're an SEO expert working for a big fashion company. I want you to base your keyword suggestions on the most popular searches in menswear in August, 2023. Can you use Google Trends and other tools to identify these trends for me? I want to really niche things down because they can be easier to rank for. We sell brands such as Kitan, Cesare Attalini. The website is twomen.it. We sell everything from suits, jeans, sneakers, to loafers and everything else. So basically, Bard said, sure, I can help you out with that. Here's some examples. Tailored suits for men, Italian suits for men, Cesare Tellini suits, Kiton suits, denim jackets for men, etc., etc., which is pretty good. Also, I know for a fact that grunge is something that is actually popping off right now. It's, it's a trend. So this, to me, signals that th this isn't just random content. So for me, Bard is actually using keyword logic instead of chat GPT, which kind of just guesses at what's popular. But I can confirm using, I've confirmed this using Google Ads keyword planner. You can confirm, you know, confirm it yourselves. Grunge fashion and grunge menswear and things, grunge menswear is growing right now. Rip jeans is probably growing as well. This is definitely interesting stuff. And then just gives you a bit more information. But what I did then was the classic, uh, give me another 20 suggestions. So it gave me another 20 keyword suggestions for the store, which you can see pretty nice suggestions again. And then I said, using all of this information and combined together, give me 10 blog post ideas. And this is where the magic happens. So how to choose the perfect suit for your body type, the ultimate guide to Italian suits. So what it's doing is it's taking something that's very popular, which is suits, and it's making it more niche by adding something like body type again. Another example here would be the ultimate guide to Italian suits. It's suits, but it's Italian, so it's more niche. And we do sell Italian suits, obviously. Jeans, very, very popular. Ripped jeans, still popular, but more niche, so it's a bit more easy. Style, again, but this time with grunge. It's the same thing every single time. And I really, really like these results here. So I said, give me another 10. Did the same thing, gave me another 10. And you can basically just keep asking for more and more and more. So these are some really good ones as well. As you get further down, I feel like they, they get better, which is really interesting. The best menswear brands for every budget is a fantastic article to write, and I can't believe I haven't written this already. How to wear a suit without looking stuffy. Again, another really, really good example of an article. And you can basically just say, keep saying, give me another 10, give me another 10. I've already written some of these articles. I can tell you that this kind of stuff does rank on Google. I've written this article. I've written this article. I've written this article. Uh, I've written this. So basically you can very easily see from doing this exercise, you can very easily get a lot of blog post ideas. I then tried to really push it and I said, give me another 50. And yeah, Bard basically did that. So. <laughs> That was pretty interesting for sure to see that it could do 50. Now it does start to get a little bit worse at the very bottom here. Some of these are not that useful um, or their repeats, but you could put this into ChatGPT or you could say, just remove any duplicate stuff. But yeah, that's the first prompt. I really, really liked it to be honest with you. And I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys because it's definitely using actual keyword research. Um, instead of just doing like logical keyword research, which is what ChatGPT does, if you don't give it the keywords. So same thing again. This time the prompt was, Bard, imagine you are the owner of a classic menswear website. Imagine you have covered all of the standard topics in the subject, like best suits, etc. I want to now expand into a few more niche down topics. Could you please give me 10 suggestions for articles, which will bring traffic to my website? 
by increasing my topical authority. Please don't use do duplicate topics as defined by Google as being two topics, which are basically the same thing, even if the content itself is different. Sure, here are 10 suggestions. The Art of the Tailored Suit, Essential Guide to Men's Shoes, Modern Man's Guide to Accessories. These are all fine. Business Casual is a huge keyword, okay? This has hundreds of thousands of searches per month. So when you see stuff like this, when I see stuff like this, obviously I've already written this article, but when I see this, I can tell you that the results are good because I've already written the article, okay? I already know that these work. So that's why I'm making this video because I've already seen the results on Google. So then again, even niche than that, I said this time, um, I was really looking for a really, really interesting article to write about. So we got the rise of sneaker culture, which we do sell a lot of sneakers. So this would be a fantastic article to write. Maybe try and push our sneakers a little bit more because we do have a lot of sneakers in the business. So definitely need to push those. Um, then I said, this is better. So when I like the feel of something, I say, this is better. I'm trying to show you how I prompt because it's not just one prompt. It's a conversation, right? Um, we're prepping. It's not, it's not prepping, but you see what I mean? It's like, it's a conversation. We're having a conversation. So this time I said, this is better. Give me another 20. And yeah, the perfect white shirt, the naughty truth of ties, pocket squares, the watch. I didn't really like these, I don't think, but I did read them all. I think there was one that I really, really liked. This is really good. The brands that are changing the game in classic menswear. That's very interesting. I should write that article. That's definitely an interesting one. How to dress for a job interview, how to dress for a wedding. These are all just standard. But again, I say they're standard only because I've already written them. So these would be very good suggestions if you were starting from a fresh website. How to dress for a formal dinner. I don't think I've done that. I've done how to dress for like a normal dinner, but maybe not, I haven't done a formal dinner. So that'd be interesting. This is the article that I actually chose. I chose the do's and don'ts of classic menswear. So if we go on two men, we can do a live test. I literally posted this an hour ago. I really do not think this will be indexed. If it is indexed, then um, it, it was just a good topic and Google likes the content. So we'll see in one second if this is, I, I don't think it will be indexed. It was literally like an hour ago. No, it's not indexed. That's fine. Um, pretty standard. But yeah, I just wrote like a quick article. Um, if you're curious, what I actually did for this article specifically, interestingly, was I had Bard give me an outline, which I'll show you in this video as well. Okay, I can't actually find the conversation where I asked it for an outline. I might have actually used Bing chat. I can't remember right now. But yeah, moving on. Okay, never mind. Yeah, here it is. So I said, Bard, imagine you are the owner of a classic men's website. Imagine blah, blah, blah. So it gave me the topics that it suggested. And then I said, give me the most searched keywords related to the do's and don'ts of classic menswear. Uh, Bard said, sure, here are the mo some of the most searched keywords. This is what I really like because I'm fairly confident this is actually using keyword logic, using keyword research. So... Uh, these keywords are searched by men who are interested in learning more about classic menswear. They're looking for information on how to dress in a classic style, blah, blah, blah. And then what I said was using this information, give me a detailed outline, including a clickable meta title for the do's and don'ts of classic menswear. And that's exactly what it did. I then used this outline to write the article using ChatGPT. So we'll, we'll see how that ranks. Uh, the article that um, Bard wrote was pretty terrible to be honest with you um and i told him as much i'm pretty sure what did i say i basically said uh do you really think this is going to rank on google and bard said yes so i guess we'll find out if that does so the final prompt that i want to try live is this one right here so give me a list of 10 high traffic keywords related to classic menswear and um, we'll do the same we'll keep replacing topic oh wait i can just write topic once i'm an idiot this is what I did. <laughs> uh, topic is, and then classic menswear. I've been experimenting with Bard. I'm really liking the results, actually. Um, it definitely seems to be using actual keyword research. So that's definitely useful. I just saw some very interesting ones here. These are amazing. These are really, really good. Ivy League style, preppy style, minimalist. Wow, these are amazing. 
This is some of the best keyword research I've seen from AI for sure. These are low competition keywords, blog post ideas. Yeah, that's really, really good. But the, especially these ones here. So I'm gonna say, give me 50 more high traffic keywords. So I know that they're good because I've seen the keyword research, but Ivy League style, I've never seen before. So that's super, super interesting. Blue blazers, chinos, corduroy, dress shoes, Oxford shoes, penny loafers, watch, fashionable men, gentlemanly style. I really like these two, or also these three, minimalist wardrobe, sustainable fashion, ethical clothing. Um, this is just an obvious one. These are really good, but again, they're kind of obvious. Haven't written this, should write that. Uh, how to dress for cold weather. That's an interesting one. For sure, Bard seems like it has a lot of potential, and I would definitely encourage you to experiment. I'll leave these in the description right here. There, This is a continuation of my keyword research videos, so if you're enjoying these, please let me know, and I will keep making them. See you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.